Hi ladies and gents, so this week we're here with our Met Master of the Week, Peter Zetanellis. Um, Peter and I have been working together for the last six months. So Peter is a great example of someone who has invested a lot of his time and his energy into these lessons. He's gone away, he's worked on the key pointers that we've discussed in our lessons. But I'm going to share a very important lesson that I had with Peter with you today. So, in our last lesson, we talked about his club bar. So when we first started, Peter had an extremely exaggerated or extreme out-to-end club bar. So he'd swipe across the golf ball, which we're going to show you now. So Peter will get to the top of the swing. Hold swing. Hold swing. And then really, really, really go up over the top and really swipe across the golf ball resulting in these weak high fades that didn't remember it. So, after six months of work, we got his club face in a good spot, and in, you've seen the last couple of videos that I've made, I'm an advocate for fixing that club face first. But once we fix Peter's club face up, his old path would generally creep in. So, we do this one little drill that really, really helped him get his club path correct. So, what we did was we got him set up and took his normal address position, we then hooded the face, or closed the face by about 20 or 30 degrees, and Peter would then take his grip again, so he would ungrip and take his normal grip. And now, his goal was to ensure that he misses this golf ball to the right. The only way in which he can do that is if he gets to the top of his swing and stops for us, is if he really, really works on shadowing that club, getting it from the inside, that's the only way he's going to be able to miss it to the right. This draw really helped him shut out the club. Most recently he shot an 81, he's had a run of good form, he shot a 76 as well, and he's doing great. Try this tip out at home, it's a great way to start learning how to shut out the club, and I hope it helps. Cheers, Peter.